You know, it's a good morning when you wake up and you see the price of IAG skyrocket. And this is on the back of a news of Iagon working with a Fortune 50 company. This is awesome news. Let's have a look into exactly what's happening here. And this is what we saw when we woke up this morning. This massive green candle uh, moving the price of IAG from 0.248 all the way up to 0.3. That's a big jump for the project. It's been trading sideways mostly for the past couple of weeks. And this is the uh, announcement that came out. Now they do have a big blog post that talks about this and I will break it down a little bit as well. So let's have a look at the details here. So Igon in collaboration with CloudCourt and advisory support from Ford Motor Company. So advisory support from Ford Motor Company is proud to announce a groundbreaking proof of concept initiative that explores the use of decentralized cloud storage for secure, scalable legal data management. So that's the big thing here. So Igon are working with Cloud Court and getting advice from the Ford Motor Company to create decentralized cloud storage for secure, scalable legal data management. So it's all about storing legal data for the company and other big Fortune 500 companies. So large corporations, law firms, regularly generate massive amounts of testimonies and litigation records. These include depositions, trial transcripts, and related legal data. Materials that are highly sensitive, often confidential, and governed by strict compliance frameworks like HIPAA, GDPR, and court protective orders. So all of this stuff here, there are a lot of regulations about keeping user data confidential and private. And I've worked with government agencies in the past, and you will find that data sovereignty is a really big, important thing. If you're working with a particular government agency, that data has to be within the uh, stored within sovereign territory of that country. So uh, for example, uh, here in Australia, if you're working for the Australian government, you can't store the data off in the United States on the cloud servers there, because it means that the United States uh, can seize that data and use it in the court of law over there if anything's happening. They can just come in and take it. So for sovereignty of that data, you need to keep it on shore. And with that are rising costs. And now here, Igon will come in to actually make a cheaper alternative for that while keeping everything compliant. So this is really good. Igon's blockchain enabled storage layer ensures immutability, transparency, and access control. Cloud Court's AI-driven legal tech tools capable of ingesting and analyzing complex legal transcripts and Ford's strategic insights as a Fortune 50 company with extensive legal operations and compliance expertise. So this is all coming together to create this final solution here. The system utilizes a hybrid approach at storing encrypted data off-chain while using on-chain mechanisms for permission access tracking and verifiability. This allows for robust audit trails and secure storage without sacrificing compliance or usability. Right, okay, so we can encrypt the data off chain and store it locally within the jurisdiction, maybe within the, uh, the, the corporation's uh, environments. Okay, so everything's encrypted but then having all the on-chain mechanisms and permissions to track and verify that the data is correct and hasn't been tampered with. All right, okay, so this is the solution that they're coming up with. So why Ford involvement matters. Ford's role in this initiative brings meaningful enterprise perspective to the table. In an advisory capacity, Ford is helping evaluate uh, security and scalability of decentralized legal storage, the feasibility of implementing blockchain-based access control and audit trails, and long-term cost efficiencies compared to traditional centralized storage solutions. That's what I was saying before. Having this all decentralized will make it a lot cheaper as well. So this is really, really exciting stuff. So Ford specifically here is advising Igon and Cloud Court on what is possible and essentially what their requirements are and what they expect. And tying this in with the Cardano ecosystem is brilliant. So the, this project illustrates how Cardano-based solutions can serve regulated industries with high compliance needs, bridge AI and blockchain for practical data intelligence, and gain traction among 
Fortune 500 enterprises seeking operational resilience and efficiencies. Brilliant stuff. Now, this is just the tip of the iceberg. This project here, this is the first Fortune 50 company that Igon uh, has announced. But have a look at this. <laughs> there is more. There is more. There is more. So this guy here, he called it. Everyone was guessing Microsoft and such. And he wrote, um, a whole thread about every possibility and how an automotive or healthcare made the most sense. Excited as can be for Igon and the community. This is huge. And then Igon say, you don't, uh, you do know that there's two Fortune 50s, right? Is the other one Cusser products or healthcare related? So I can be doubly correct. And maybe he is. So healthcare is definitely something that the Igon solution is perfect for because it does meet those compliance requirements for HIPAA. So HIPAA is the uh, the standard for storing uh, hospital patient data in a private and secure way. And Igon meets those particular requirements. So this other Fortune 50 company could very well be in the healthcare space. So awesome to see. Big, big congratulations to the Igon team for uh, getting to this point where they're working with the Ford Motor Company. That's absolutely brilliant. And I can't wait to hear who or what this second company is going to be as well. It's going to be another big one. So let's have a look. Let's uh, keep an eye out for what uh, Igon is up to. Super excited, guys. Um, if you're excited as well, leave a comment down below. If you know or if you think you know who or what the next company is, leave a comment as well. I'd love to hear your speculations here. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe, notification bell on your way out. And I'll see you guys in the next video.